if we can balance the energy in the home, then there's no conflict. There's very little conflict, there's very little anger, there's very little um, fighting. And everybody lives in that home in harmony and feels contented in that home. When the home is out of balance, we find often uh, child abuse, we find the partner abuse, we find dis disconnectedness from, from everything around us. And so in Zulu culture, it was important to keep the home in balance. And people said if the home was out of balance, then lightning would end up striking that home. And in this country, lightning is a big issue because how many people die every year from lightning strikes? So it was important that you balance your home. And we say nature has a consciousness. It can think. And we think we can control it because it just doesn't exist. But for us, everything in nature exists. It has a consciousness. It can think. And it has, a, has an energy. And that balancing of energy takes place on a constant basis. So in other cultures, we talked about gnomes. We talked about fairies. We talked about uh, all kinds of little nature beings and nature spirits that, that move around. And in this country, we talk about into Oweloje, which has now become the famous Tokolosh, who does all kinds of bad things. But for us, we say, Tokolosh, if you hate somebody, remember if you hate somebody, do you think that person is going to love you? If you hate somebody and you're angry towards something and you chase it away and you're, you're bad towards it, it is going to do the same back to you, generally. So what we say is that if you respect nature, and if you work with nature, nature will work with you. And everything will come back into balance. And so in the past, people understood into a well orchard. People would put a stone in their home and they would invite that energy, or they would say prayers to invite that energy to protect and to balance the home. So that everything was kept in balance. When people went on a journey, they understood that every area they went through had a protector being or into a lodge that looked after it. And so you'd find piles of stones still today called Isivivan, where people would take a stone, they would spit on it, they'd put it in a pile and they asked permission to walk through that area and a safe passage while they were going through that area. And you go to Bhutan and people still do similar things today. They respect everything in that, in that country. If there's a huge rock that's considered sacred, the road will go around that rock. That road will not go and nobody will touch that rock. The left-hand lane will go this side, the right-hand lane will come back that side around the rock, but the rock will not be touched. There are certain forests in Bhutan that are considered sacred. Nobody will touch that forest. The road will go around that forest. And what do we do in this country? Everything gets bulldozed, flattened, doesn't exist. But for us, everything in nature exists. And so we use what is in nature to heal people and to make them better. So to bring good energy or good vibration into a home, we plant in Telezis. Certain aloes. There are certain, behind you, there's agapanthus growing. Agapanthus is considered to be a very high vibration plant. Just like roses, rose oil, sandalwood, sandalwood oil, frankincense, myrrh. All those medicines are considered to be high vibration. In other words, they cleanse and they purify. And that is why in, since thousands of years people have used them, because of their potency and their energy. And their cleansing and healing capacity. And just like people have got medicines from overseas or from, from the Middle East or wherever, so we have them in this country as well. They are not as well known as those because they are, tend to be local and locally specific. But they are known as intelezis. And we plant them in our home and to keep the home cleansed and to keep the home pure. And to keep the energy balanced in the home. So when you are, there's conflict in the home, you'll use rose oil or you'll use frankincense or myrrh. One of those, either burn it or put it in a, in a, in a bunch, one of those little burners. Essential oil burners. And it cleanses the home and brings everybody back into balance and calmness. 